What is up guys? Welcome on back to another Copart walk around. I am out here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're gonna take a look at some cool cars, trucks, maybe some bikes, ATVs, I don't know, who knows? Maybe a couple trolls moms. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get directly into it. Alright guys, first things first, no messing around. We're jumping right into the big boy stuff. Look at this beautiful Dodge Ram Hemi monstrosity. This big lifted beautiful truck. A little bit of rust on the bumper, so it tells me it didn't come from here. Um, everything looks good on the surface. It is listed as a run and drive. That rust right there is a little concerning to me. It is surface rust though. You know what I'm saying? It's not like bubbled or anything. Now, is this rubbing over here? Because, damn, that looks close. Well, it's high enough where it clears, I guess. Whew. Big old tires, huh? 40s. Got them 40s on that joint. It's a big horn edition. Got them 40s on this joint, man. Trail gla grappler from Nittos. 40 by 19. Eh. I see you. Nice bed cover. The whole vehicle, the whole truck looks nice, right? And now we get to some of the body rot. So there's some of the rust coming through the paint. And then same thing down here. You start getting over here. And, you know, it's nice. You know, those pieces of chrome will hide some stuff, but not much. You can see the body rot down here. And especially where a truck is this high. Oof. I don't know. When I lived in the Northeast, you know, I'm from Boston originally. It sucks. You know, it's cold. You don't want to have to be in the cold all the time. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. I get that part. But you also got to clean. You got to rinse the cars off. If you don't rinse it off with some fresh water or go in and get some boiled water and throw it on the vehicle, yes, you could blow a window out like that. I know. But if you don't clean your vehicle, it will rot. That salt from the road will destroy your uh, will destroy your vehicle. Does she have keys? She does. But somebody left it in the on position because they are dicks. All right. But it's clean. It's a big ass lifted truck with a 5.7. Very similar to the Aspen, you know? And I know you guys have been asking me, what are we doing with that project, the project truck? Are we going to rebuild it? And yes, we are. We're going to finish rebuilding the Aspen. 100% guaranteed. We definitely are going to do it. So stay tuned for that. That is coming soon once I get uh, home full time. So there you go. Look at this. All right. Let's go on to the next one. I don't know, man. What are the odds? You think you think I could find a troll's mom out here? <laughs> I need to stop. Oh, hey, look at that Bentley over there, though. We'll take a look at that sucker. The big boy, the big body, big body Bentley, damn it. Look at that. Big body Bentley. Whoo! Man. But look at it from this side. You know when, you know, it's like you see it from like one side, it's so pretty. And then you see it from another side and you're like, oh, hell no. <laughs> this is a beautiful car though. Sad they got the whole thing taped off. Oh, the windows. 31,000 miles. It was a beautiful car. It had the W12 in it. Very similar to the Audi A8L. Wow. You got hit so hard, the damn crash bar. They hit something so friggin' hard that the whole body shifted and legit pushed the crash bar out the rear bumper. So this whole car is probably legit like shifted on its frame. Holy crap. For, it, for that whole piece, that frame rail and that crash bar to come out 
Yeah. Which explains a lot, though, because you can see, I mean, the front end suspension got pushed in. I mean, it did its job. But, holy crap. Yeah, I would say that this is a wrap. That's totaled. I mean, not it's not unrepairable, but, whew, the money it would take to fix that one, guys. I don't know, man. I think this one would be a tad bit expensive. What do you guys think? No? Yeah, I don't know. Oof. Oof. Yep. On to the next one. And we're finding one of my favorite vehicles of all time. I know they're like, not a Range Rover, not a... No, I'm just kidding. Look at this Chevy Silverado. <laughs> this thing runs and drives. Somebody was cool and put LED lights up here in the front. Looks like they redid like a little facelift on it. Nice rims and tires. What does this got on it? Uh, rugged MTs. Okay, Bobo tires. I don't know what the rims are. Uh, 73,000 miles. That's not a lot for this truck. Cloth interior. I hate that shit. I just do. They should just outlaw cloth interiors unless you specifically ask for it. It is a Bobo though. Oh, there's no keys. Oh, well. I was going to say, it is a Bobo because it's got a small display. So it's like nobody cared about the features inside the vehicle. Alright. Whatever. Yeah. It's coming apart up here. Unless the airbag deployed or something. It's cracked over here. That's a nice, like, lifted truck. Like, it, it's a cool truck to, like, run around on the farm or something with, maybe. I don't know. Run through some dirt trails with. I wouldn't take it anywhere crazy. Even though it's got a rough country suspension and lift on it i just wouldn't do it that's just me that's just me though that's just me huh what size are those things i'm in 35s huh. they look small but after you're looking at a ram with 40 by 19s you're like yeah it's all dirty back here and stuff yeah we're gonna call this one a day and go on to the next one now this next one is starting to get rare you don't see a lot of these anymore um which is why i'm kind of interested in it look at this old school lincoln town car guys now look at it objectively all right the body looks pretty good i haven't walked around the whole thing i'm just saying what i'm seeing up front right the paint looks really 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 decent so does the leather top like, this is when you clean, you're going to have to replace the headlights and the plastics in the front. That's just common with these cars. All right. 115,000 miles. That is nothing for that motor. Look at that top. That's the thing that normally peels and comes apart and turns into crap. And it looks like it's a little not great here, but that's not hard to tighten up. And the back window, like all of the stuff that would be fraying and messed up. So you know what it tells me? This probably belonged to some old person. And they probably drove it to like church on Sundays and took it out to go to the store and stuff like that. And that's it. And the mileage also dictates that, right? Okay, that tail light needs to be... Ah, now we get to what totaled it. One little dent right there. See that dent? Now, I could get a good paintless dent guy to pop that out and hit this with a DA and get rid of those marks. I can replace that tail light, and I can pretty much make this damn thing look like it's never been in an accident. Now, this back window being down sucks. I'm going to see if she'll fire up, and we'll see if we can get that window up so it doesn't destroy it. But this thing runs and drives. What do you guys think? You think it's a four-valve? What do you guys think about the, the motor? I said a four-valve. I'm in a three-valve. Pay me no mind. Um... Let's see if we can get it open. Let's see if we can get the hood open. And it's from Auction Dealer Services, which I absolutely hate to see. V8 overhead cam. 4.6. You know. 
let's uh i'm not going to completely close it i'm gonna leave it where it was in case there was an issue with them opening it before One hundred and fifteen thousand miles you know that's literally nothing for this car right literally nothing it's a 1995 that has the big bent seat i can't wait to sit down on this because you just don't see these anymore man you don't you just don't see these anymore let me get in here oh okay we're in here like swimwear it's nice. These seats are nice and cushy. I bet this thing runs and don't have no issues. It's so damn clean. Oh, all the dash works. The self-leveling system. You hear it? Wow. And it died. <laughs> Come on, girl. It just hasn't run in a while. There she is. Pop right up. Oh, the AC's on. That's why. Got a check engine light. We can figure out what that is. That's nothing major. 67 miles to empty. The dashboard works. Uh-oh. Is she going to stall? Yeah, she got a misfire for sure. Let's turn the AC off. I don't need that. The AC does work. It is cold. But let me turn it off. And see if she'll get some kind of semblance of normal running. JVC radio. The interior, for the most part, is pretty clean. I mean, you would want to clean this interior for sure. Um, oh, wow. Comes uh, with handicap placards. Look at that. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, look, man. I would tell you it's super clean, man. The leather seats look nice. For a vehicle of this age, a 1995, this is rare. Let's see if she goes in the gear. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Yeah, she has a misfire. I don't know what, um, probably just needs plugs, plugs, wires, maybe, I don't know if this had coils or not, <clears throat> you know, it probably just needs some regular maintenance, it is, what, 95, 26 years old, something like that, but for a car to be this old and look this clean, nah, man, look, it even has the heated seats and everything, man, this is a beautiful car, man. This is a beautiful car. And, you know, it could clear up while it's running. But I would do the plugs and wires and stuff. I doubt that there's a problem with the motor itself directly. Because it just doesn't have the miles. Nobody was really driving this damn thing. So. I don't know, man. The self-leveling system seems to work. No errors there. All of the things that you'd be like, oh my God, these old Lincolns have problems. Like this thing is in really good condition. That might be the star of the damn show today, man. You just don't see them like this anymore. You really don't. You just don't see them like this anymore. Man, let me tell you, you just don't. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I want to see if that back window would go up. But look at that, man. That's a beautiful car. That is a beautiful, 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 a beautiful car. Like, let me see if I can get those windows to go up. That back window up. Oh. I said that because I want to get it up because you don't want all the dust to like totally get in here and destroy the car. Steering high and low, huh? So you can make it stiffer or lighter. Okay, cool. I'm guessing what that's what that is. We'll see. All right. Let's uh That's the seat. Oh, it came off the track. Damn, if I had an extra hand. 
I'm a big boy. Let me get this thing off my wrist. Let me set y'all up. Y'all can watch me circus act this one. Oh. Do, 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 do. Let me close this door. And we're going to see if I can reach over and do this. Let me fire her back up. Nope, I can't get it. I tried. It's off the track, you can hear it. The, the window works. The window works, it's just off the track. Sometimes that happens, there's not really much you could do with that. Really not. So. Oh well. Not much I can do. So, I think what we're gonna do at this point is I'll let them know when I go into the office, because this is such a nice car. I'd hate to see the environment out here destroy this interior. Um, when I think this this car is gonna, this car is definitely going to be back on the road, and someone's going to enjoy the absolute crap out of this car because it's so beautiful, man. I know you're going to say I'm stupid for that, but like this, I would I would clean this up, get this thing like shining, like showroom clean, and I would roll this every single day. I wouldn't care, man. I like different stuff. This is different. I like this. I'm lying. I'm still going to drive my, my, my scat pack or the Hellcat. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh, man. All right. Let's keep it moving. Oh, I tried, though. You know, it's good to it's good to put in some kind of effort. You know, it shows that you tried to do something to try to fix things because I don't know, man. I believe in karma, man. You want to do good things because maybe somebody might do something like that for you for a vehicle you're trying to bid on. And you get a better, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's, oh, maybe I'm a softy. I don't know. Oh, look, it's a Scion smart car. I don't know who the hell would get caught driving one of these. But if you get into an accident in one of these, you can kiss your ass goodbye. Because I don't, whew, I don't get it. I know people get them because they want to, you know, like save on the gas and all that good crap. But no, uh not me hell no hell to the no 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 this is literally a golf cart with an engine like no i'm good i'm straight i am straight nope Whew, i'm not even gonna look at it i'm not even looking at that damn thing we're gonna look at this beast right here next to the burned out charger um look at this hemi performance lifted dodge ram with the moto metal wheels man Ooh, it's got the Nittos on it, the Terra Grapplers. Ooh, this thing is so frigging clean. I mean, this thing is clean. Let me get a shot of. I, I might have to. I might have to fight over what's going to be the thumbnail. Now, this is obviously aftermarket painted. I'm not stupid. You know, I know it's not. Um, this didn't come that way. Somebody, you can see the overspray on the grill and stuff right there they color matched everything they painted it oh, it's not a bad paint job but it's also not great like i can see the orange peel everywhere so but i mean it's nice i'm not hating on it nice rear rear bed somebody cleaned it up they put the stickers and stuff on it they didn't do a really good job applying them stickers though like tighten up man um i can put that in my pocket now I had to wait for a video that was being exported to process appropriately. Ooh, this thing is clean. Leather slash cloth seats. I don't know if I like that. This has got that same BS that my um, Challenger and Ram had in it. The dealers put these in. It's some kind of tracking system. You press it, it lights up blue. It's a tracking system. To 13, huh? Damn. No key? Of course not. Not on one I'd want to start. But look, you got side lights, roof lights, zombie lights, driving lights. What the hell? That's cool, man. This thing is clean. I don't know if this is a 13 though. Uh, did we have the did they have the, the transmission like that in 13? I wonder if this got mislabeled. Because this looks really clean. 
It's got the big monitor, not the big, big monitor, but the big monitor too. And the more up-to-date gauges. Something tells me this is newer than a 13. That's just me though. Huh. Let me know what you guys think about this one in them comments. This one right here looks really friggin' clean if you ask me. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect by any means. But I'm wondering if somebody bought an older Ram and then like facelifted it and then put newer stuff on it. You know, like you can do that. So maybe that's what they did. They bought an older Ram, painted it, and just tried to like make it look new, newer. You know what I'm saying? Eh. All right, let's keep it moving. All right. Let's see what the Subaru is going to go for. So I went ahead and popped in here on um kansas being that you know we're in kansas and dealing with kansas even though the walk around portion may have been one of the last ones from las vegas but let's go ahead and see what we got man that was not bad that was a third of retail for real 500 bucks yo if these cars are going like this and i need to go up to wichita while you bullshitting look at this Alright, if it stays under 700 bucks, it's a good deal. Hell yeah! Maybe things are finally starting to get back to normal for a change, man. Let's cut that music off. That Y'all be hating the music, I know. Some of y'all like it, some of y'all don't. Alright, now this one's worth t almost 30 grand? Hell no. Come on, man. It's a GL. They're pieces of crap. They're going to bid this one up, though. Because it's all bolt-on shit. Watch them bid this up. Dumbasses. Cold dumbasses. New bidder. Yeah, yeah, new bidder. New dumbass. I bet it is hot. Hot like your mom's. Let's go, man. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, damn, TK. <laughs> oh, man. Where else is it that you can create content? You know what I'm saying? Hashtag Toilet Squad. Bonus time. Man, this is crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's over a third, but it's not bad though. I'm gonna be honest. So, that was a pure sale. They don't have to wait for an approval or nothing. They'll make their money on that for sure. That's all bolt on stuff. Now, this Taurus, still, this is a deal too. Look at this 300 bucks. Let's see, if it stays under 700, it's a good deal. But people can let this go now. I mean, there's no need for them. To be bidding this Taurus up. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like 140,000 miles. You know what I'm saying? Do I don't know, man. It's under 700 bucks. It's a good deal. We'll see if it stays under 700 bucks. You figure this 500, you're going to have about three, four hundred dollars in fees. You're at 900 already. See, that's the thing. I think when people are bidding, especially if they're new, they don't realize that there's a ton of fees, you know, that they tack on when you're buying a car at an auction. And it's not just Copart, it's whoever. Everybody has fees. So you're not just getting the car for that price. Five seventy-five. That was a good deal. That's three cars in a row, man. An 11 Dodge Charger in orange. What's wrong with it? Rear end, it says. Yeah, it got hit in the ass. It sure did. Let's look at the HD quality. It sure did get hit in the ass, but it's not terrible. It's plastics. And that car is going to go... Okay, so what is it? 87, they say, is retail on that? 
It's a six though, man. It's a crappy ass V6. If it, mm, it has to stay under 2,800 to be a good deal. But right now, this looks like a good good deal. If it stays under 2,800, nope, they're going to bid it up. Somebody else jumped in and was like, oh, this is going too low. See? Nope, overpaid. If they get it for that, it's still a little too much, but it's not bad. That is not bad. And these are pure sales. These are pure sales. Like, you're not having a fight for these. So just front end, lower front end damage. The rest of the car looks good. 38,000 miles, it's only seven grand. I mean, it's already 50% of retail, so it's too damn high for me. But that's me. Bonus time. They got a bunch of good cars coming up too. They got a bunch of good ones coming up too. This one's 1150. Minor dent and scratches, meaning it doesn't have any damage. Only in less than 100,000 miles. Yeah, that's a good deal right there. That is a good deal right there. Oh, my bad. I pulled my pen out. I don't know, man. Y'all probably can see me right here in the camera. Let me know if y'all like this too. If y'all like this, I might I might start doing the on-camera thing when we do the auction. That's not bad. Twenty-two hundred bucks. Now this is a Nissan Xterra. Hmm. It's worth five, and you guys are already at fifty percent of retail. Stupid. Say it with me. Stupid. Come on, man. That's dumb. That's just dumb. Extra dumb. Extra, extra, extra stupid, man. Extra stupid. Not a good look. This is a hot lot. Y'all, I can't look. This see now they had a couple of ones that were really good deals, and now look at this. You you got this one. Keep bidding. Let's get it up to retail, you dumbasses. I mean, come on, man. There we go. Here we go. Somebody really wants this. And it, it's not like it's even in good shape. It's damaged, man, severely. Like, I don't get this at all. This don't make any damn sense to me. Like, it's wrecked. It's crashed. And it's sold. I was about to say, if they let that go, front end damage, image can't be displayed, huh? It's almost undercarriage damage, too. It's all down at the bottom. I I don't know. 1300 bucks. Everybody knows that that 3.6 is a garbage, garbage engine. That's why. But 1300 that's not bad. That's a deal. This looks like it's going to be another deal. I, maybe I spoke too soon. Damn. No. This is a hot lot. Bonus time. New bidder.
New bitter. New bitter. Sold. All right, guys. So we're back in here now. We got a 2017 Chevy Equinox. Now these actually do pretty decent on money. Um, 48.50. It's worth 17. Anything more than 5100, I'd have to walk. That's just my philosophy. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying for me, once I hit a third of retail, I'm out. And there it is. It was right below a third. Look at that, man. Let's see what this Honda goes for. It's at 950. All these pure sale cars, man. And let me tell you the difference. The on approval cars, the insurance company or the seller that's running it through the auction has to approve it. These, like this, pure sales, whatever it goes for, it goes for, and that's it. That's why I'm excited about this one. Oh man. Lincoln Town Car. That one didn't go bad. 01 car, Town Car on Blue. It's got some serious damage, though. The fact that they're even bidding this up. This is what's hilarious. Cars that don't have any damage, they won't bid up. But then you'll have cars like this that are, like, smashed. And it's not horrible. You could fix it. They're tanks. But it's... Oh, my God, man. The fact that they're bidding this up, man... Oh, I can't believe they're bidding this up. This, I mean, was this like a famous dude's town car or something? I don't get it. I don't understand why you would bid this up. And this one's on reserve, though. So, you know, it has to make a certain amount of money or it doesn't go. Sold on approval. Wow. Ooh. I love this was probably my favorite body style, believe it or not, of this of the Tahoe in the Suburban. That's not horrible. And this is the same color as my Tahoe. It was blue with the gold bottom. Like that. Mm-hmm. Windshield is busted though. Did you, you see the windshield? Windshield's busted. Mirror's gone. Passenger window's probably busted. Bonus Missing time. the headlights on the driver's side. Y'all overpaid. I'm sorry. With 263,000 miles? Y'all overpaid, man. Hell no. Twenty nineteen Ford Escape. Time. I see Geo just dropped a video. I'm gonna have to go watch that here in a minute. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to Dubai. Congratulations. Sold on approval. Not bad. Almost a quarter of retail. And then you get cars like this that are smashed. This is what I don't understand, man. Cars that require a couple thousand bucks to fix, they're not bidding on. I mean, they're bidding on it. The ones that don't require nothing, really. They don't. Bonus time. This one is a pure sale, though. 750 bucks. That's less than a quarter of retail. That's a good deal. New bidder. <laughs> they said, you can't have it that cheap. They're going to wait. Bid. Sold. Oh.
Well. New bidder. New bidder. This is a hot. They bid this damn thing up, boy. Afghanistan. Get out of here, Afghanistan. Stop lying. Somebody registered an account to troll, man. Dubai, Texas. Hey, if it goes for three grand, they stole that. Bonus time. Oh, bonus screw. Well, look at that damage, though, man. Oof. I don't know. Maybe it's fixable, but... Sold. Damn. That was a decent deal. Money-wise. Now, this Ford Fusion that got hit, got railed in the ass here. Oof. It's not that bad. It looks like it's just a plastic bumper. And straighten out the crash bar. So, if this thing goes for... Less than 1500 it's a good deal. If it goes for under two grand, it's less than a third, so. But fifteen hundred after the fees, you got a you got a decent deal on that one. If it doesn't have anything else wrong with it. So wow, cars are going at a pretty decent deal today. I'm kinda shocked, man. Mm -hmm. I'm really kinda shocked. Like this. Chevy Cruze. That looks like it's missing a hood. And a grill. And that's it. Wow. Y'all ain't playing, huh? Wow. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's Copart walk around and live auction. I want to say a personal thank you to everybody that watched all the way through today's video. And uh, I also want to say thank you for everybody that's been subscribed and been sharing the videos uh, and the channel as we've been going out. Um, Obviously not in Las Vegas at the moment. If you're seeing this video at the time of this video, I am in Kansas City. Or maybe I'll be in Oklahoma City by the time you guys see this. I don't know. But, um, you know, Mr. Worldwide, it is what it is. Is that a... I saw like an orb on the screen. Did you see that? I'm done, Miss. Do you see that? Right there? Okay. All right. I'm done with this ghost stuff, man. I heard Randy's house is haunted. We're going to find out, I guess. Hmm. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Now that, we're do now that we've had all this other weird stuff happen, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But uh, stay tuned. More videos coming this coming week. We are. Uh, it is Monday uh, for you guys. And... Um, I know we have a holiday weekend coming up this coming week as well. So uh, stay tuned. Lots of, We're still going to have content coming up. I just wanted to say a major thank you for all y'all watching. <laughs> Every time I hear something now, I'm going to think something's up. I'll catch y'all on the next video.